It's always good to see homes being handed over and tenants getting in and enjoying the new spaces. Also, I'd say with the design, it was one of our more unusual ones, mainly because of the curved facade. One of the interesting features is the inclusion of the sun pods, which are in the multi-storey blocks, and they offer a private outdoor space that can be used all year round as it's partially enclosed. So this provides a unique experience for multi-storey living, which isn't common, and I think the tenants will appreciate such a space. I'm hugely impressed. 18 months ago I came here, uh, this site had been Derelict, frankly, I'll be honest, as local MSP, it was a bit of an eyesore before coming here. What a transformation. Uh, not only uh, do we see modern houses, it has completely uplifted the entire area, but most importantly, it's providing housing, affordable, socially affordable housing, to many of my constituents who've needed it for a long, long time. Well, the thing I like most about a new home is the, the, the big spacious bedrooms. The actual house on its own is fantastic. Uh, lovely, lovely garden. Uh, we've never ever had that. Uh, we've always stayed up or close. When I was given the news about the possibility of getting a new house, uh, my initial reaction was I hope it's not the top floor or the one up. And when Lynn said to me, no, we're offering you a house, I think she had to repeat it three or four times before it actually filtered into my psyche that it was a house because I've always stayed in a flat. So the fact that I was getting a house was absolutely overwhelming. It's a £15 million project that has been supported by significant funding from the Scottish Government and their affordable housing project, which is channeled through Glasgow City Council. It's supported by a loan from Alia, as well as, as the Association's own income. Uh, so it's been significant uh, investment from, from all partners involved in that. Affordable housing is such an important social issue and we at Alia CNC are delighted to have supported Elder Park with a loan through our charitable bond programme with the Scottish Government. And of course, it's particularly satisfying to see those homes now complete and providing affordable homes for people in government. We've spent 15 million here, uh, and obviously the Housing Association wouldn't have been able to finance that on its own. So the fact that we've had partners has enabled us to build these beautiful dwellings for our constituents, and that would not have happened had it not been for partnership working. The, the, the partnership between the three, three kind of agencies, so the, the Council, the House, Housing Association and also Scottish Government is vital. Over the years um, the Council's provided something in the region of £19 million pounds of funding um, and that has really made a difference in the regeneration of the wider government area and this development is just a testament to the continuation of that partnership working going forward. During 2020 we were lucky to have 82 new houses coming off site. Uh, this is the first 15 of them, 15 new homes that, that have just recently been let to the tents. The properties themselves have been really excellently designed by master architects, expertly built by CCG and, and overall it's been a, been a tremendous project. We we're delighted with the outcome of it so far. We manufacture these in our off-site manufacturing plant and bring them to site. It's a closed panel construction where we have them pre-insulated and windows fitted in the factory. The energy efficiency of these is significant and the, the performance will provide great betterment for the, the, the tenants. The tenants, as I say, are, are absolutely delighted about the, the quality uh, of the, the property and they were saying as well about how as I say, it's going to change their lives uh, enormously. My daughter, who's eight, was very, very excited when she found out we were getting one of the new houses. And she was even more excited when she seen it, because her bedroom is huge compared to what she's used to. She's also got a back garden, but she's going to be so much better for somewhere for her to play. It's not just about the housing, it's what we can deliver to the community. And as part of our community benefit, we have provided uh, six full-time um, jobs four apprenticeships and 12 work placements. Do we want to offer more homes to, uh, more safe, modern homes to, to people who need them? Of course we do. Um, we're desperate for any opportunity to, to find land, to access grants. Um, we want to keep on um, bringing more people into the community, uh, offering them all the services that we offer and giving them warm, secure, affordable homes to live in. It's a fresh start for myself and my daughter coming to this new community. It's no far from where I was living, but looking around, I feel like I'm in a totally different area because of how lovely it's set out. I feel safer here. 
regeneration in the areas, bringing the community back together and social housing is going up and it's making a huge impact to people's mental health and that's already, I've only been in the house 14 days and it's, I can feel it already affecting me. We've been here a few days and we've um, discovered that there's some old neighbours that are uh, um, moved in as well, which was a real surprise. So we're really chuffed about that. Elder Park House and are introducing people and trying to accommodate all cultures and everybody coming into the community. So the community vibe, from my point of view, is coming back to government, which was lost for a long time. Elder Park Housing, uh, by their nature, by their ethos for all the years that I've known them, are rooted in the community. They're not just building homes and houses, as important as that is, but they're making sure they're providing some extra benefit to the community. And I think that's a great model for other housing associations and developers to look at.